guys um i'm not on camera today but i have a message um and and i have to i have to get it out <laughs> i hope everybody is doing okay um i have to talk about anybody who is seeking to be famous or who's boasting about themselves in christ um, and I'm so sorry that you guys hear the beep in the background again. My my smoke detector needs the the battery needs to be changed. Um, we're supposed to be changing that out today, but um, so sorry about the beep. So you're gonna hear that several times throughout the video. But anybody who's boasting about who they are in Christ, or that they're just trying to get famous, um, by being this famous preacher, or famous bishop, or whatever it might be, um. They the reason why they seek the the fame and the and the fortune is because they don't have what keeps them complete otherwise. And what I'm trying to say is having a relationship with God, going to Christ, being filled spiritually with peace and joy, and being full of self control and 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 perseverance. These are the things that you need to be seeking in Christ, not fame. Somebody that's boasting about um, how awesome they are in Christ is is you got to stay away from that person because you've got to go back to Jesus. You've got to go back to Paul. You've got to go back to Abraham. You know, they all did not boast who they were in Christ. Yeah, they taught and they, um, you know, used examples from their own life. And um, they, they had their testimonies, but they did not just say, I'm just this awesome and wonderful Christian. I've talked about this before on the channel. A lot of people are trying to be America's next top Christian. And that is wrong because you're a servant of God is who you are when you come to Christ. So there is no boasting about how awesome you are because you want to boast about how awesome God God is because it's not you remember that's driving you it's not you that you're seeking to be praised and glorified it is the father that we are trying to glorify and to be praised he is the most high and awesome God we are just simply his servants so we need to stay in our servant place a lot of times when Jesus healed or when Paul went to cities they didn't know who Jesus was you know um, they didn't even know who healed him, who who healed him um, when Elijah went to, to a town, he didn't boast that he was just this awesome prophet. A lot of times he went under the, he went under the belt, you know, they, no, a lot of people didn't know who he was. Um, Paul, they knew that he was a man of God, but he didn't, every time he introduced himself, he said, I am an apostle. I am not, you know, I'm, I'm not, I'm not anything awesome or wonderful. I'm not just this awesome, great man of God. You know, he didn't do that. And you're not going to find a lot of people in Christ that did do that. Yeah, David was the king, you know, but I didn't ever hear him say, you know, I'm the man of God. Like you worship me because I'm the man of God. You know, you're 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 I'm better than you. You know, I didn't hear him say that in his words. So we need to also not seek the fame and and, and to be the most awesome next top Christian. You know, we are not. We are not top anything. We are servants of Christ. And that's the mentality that is the voice that we need to speak. There's nothing wrong, like I said, with using your examples in Christ to help others. You know, that is fine for you to say, you know, well, well, um, this is what's gotten me through. Or this is what, um, you know, God has said to me. Or, you know, things like that. But you do not need to be like, you know, I'm the best. You, you suck. I'm the best, you know. No, we don't need to be making people feel like they need to treat us like we're some God, you know. No, God is God. We are his servants. And so that was my message today because I am finding so much, especially when people come to Christ, they feel like, oh, well, I'm dignified now. You, you're, you're trash and I'm, I'm the best, you know. No, you remember you need to come to your brother in love, even if it is in a in a more forceful tone, you know, because let's face it, sometimes the Holy Spirit has us come to others um, to truly get them to come out of sin. But you still do not say, well, I'm the best, you know, <laughs> I'm better than you. 
this is what you need to do because I am better. I'm the best. You no, know, we do not need to be seeking fame or glory be, to be glorified. We weren't created to be glorified. If you if you want glory, you're going to go insane. Because us as human beings, as servants of God, we were not created to be glorified. God is the only one that can be glorified, okay? Um, so you're secretly going to be going insane if you're seeking to be glorified. And there is something that you need to do. You need to go back to the Father. You need to go back to the basics, back to Christ, if you are the one that's seeking to be glorified. Because this is not what it's about. We are God's servants. I can't say that enough. <laughs> So we need to be serving Christ and we need to be serving God, okay? Um, and so stop stop torturing people, stop blackmailing people, stop, stop trying to make people that are weaker than you think that you are God. No. You <laughs> you are going to perish if that if that is you. So you need to stop that. You need to be like I said, you are secretly going to be going insane. <laughs> I love you guys. Hope you guys have a good day. Bye.